Absolutely. Since it's the international break here, why don't we celebrate where you guys are from and just leave what country you're from in the comments below. Madon's finesse in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Us men are down in the DM. Down in the, down in the DMs. Madon's finesse in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Feel it up with no feeling. Hello, cup of fam. My name is Wood, and this is Poet. I need to sneeze. <laughs> I need to sneeze. I'm doing hey, it. Fever. Hey, Fever. Are you allergic? I don't know if it's like cold or a bit of everything. It might be a bit of hay fever as well. But anyway, how was your weekend? I saw the kids. How was it? They turned two. They are lit. Two. Before we even start, just so you have an understanding of how cute these kids are, I have to show you this. This is the Godfather, obviously. Look at these boys. They're big, man. They're so big, innit? <laughs> so what language do they speak? Swedish. They speak Swedish. Good. Swedish fam. But they understand English, but they speak Swedish. That's good. Papa! Yeah. Sluta! <laughs> like what? No, do Swedish. That's better. Com I agree. Anyway! So shout out to Poet's kids. Happy second birthday, gang gang. Anyway, comments before we begin, Po. Uh, Vuj Loki looks like a budget Giroud. Yep, we have definitely affirmed that throughout the years. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. I like it more when people say the Netherlands because Holland is only like a one third of our country. Lit. Uh, well, the Netherlands it is. Having Vuj and Poet read your comment is like achieving your PhD at uni. Pretty much. Because uni's pretty pointless. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. I, I went. I graduated. Yep, you did. Let them know. You got the hat. But you learn you how to apply yourself and dedicate yourself. That is to true. One. So that's that is good. the good thing about uni. Yeah. That's it good. Shows you application through things that you don't want to do. But ASC, <laughs> how the hell does the how the hell does Barack get involved into a Scotland match? <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> Honestly, best football analysis show. Someone give them a podcast. My brother. Comments below is lit, bro. Oh, come, I know. It's the right best football analysis show in the world. But you told me to watch the Barack the deleted scenes. Amazing, isn't it, bro? That is by far the funniest. The shit. funniest thing I've seen. You don't have to watch. Very, very long while. Yeah, you don't have to watch Borat deleted scenes, and if you don't find it funny, then you probably shouldn't be watching us either. <laughs> That's true. Probably. Borat is he's a genius. Guys, the Premier League is back next week. We are looking forward to that. Cannot lie. But, do have some gloves here. Uh, and I do actually have a trophy. Well, yeah, the, the E Premier League finals are on Thursday and Friday. 20 Xbox players, 20 FIFA players representing the Premier League clubs. <sighs> It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. After they've all beat each other so and so forth and it gets down to the final one, he then has to play the final one on the other side. So you can have Liverpool versus Liverpool. I, my money's still on the F2 though. I've heard yeah, good I things. Yeah, I heard he's mad. I've seen some madness. Mitch told me he was losing 6-0 within five FIFA minutes. Mad. I can't lie, that's lit. It's lit, isn't it? <laughs> and I have to, uh, you know, I have to say that it is on Thursday and Friday, but yeah. I don't think I'm around, and I believe you're not either. Uh, we're going to send uh, Chelsea down, and the E Premier League uh, shall be decided. And she'll be live on the channel next week. Check that out. I did play FIFA against Chelsea. Uh, you guys can leave a comment below and uh, let us know what you did. Did you think. beat? Uh, did I beat her? I... I'll, let, I'll let you guys leave comments below and let us know who you Chelsea. think won. Come here's on, a, Chelsea. Here's a little clip. Obviously, Fab now. They all kind of do the same job. Your what a save. Is a cook. <laughs> what a save! What a save. Becca! Like, Alison on this game is unreal. He's like Spider Man. Look at that. Absolute blockage. That's a joke. Oh, that's because Van Dyke done that save. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the goal's crazy. The one that does go in. Did you see how he got it in and hit the post again? <laughs> Check that out when it comes out on the channel. Um, also, the likes of England, the Netherlands, and France, all having young, established, and promising players. How do other Giants Europe lineups fare two years down the lines of the Euros? Ex Spain, Italia, and Germany. I mean, yeah, no Muller, Hummels, Burting. Is it a way forward? It seems like they can handle the pressure. 3 2 winners. I watched the game. Werner didn't start, obviously, probably because he's embarrassing display in the World Cup. So they had Sane and Nabri up front, hmm. which kind of worked. Well, obviously, kind of worked, definitely worked. Um, they were very clinical. A little bit, but I just I don't think I think Holland were much better on the day. Yeah. Holland played well. They got the two goals back. Babel scores that chance to make it one-one into a different game, so they brought it back to two-two. Yeah, yeah. But then just that sort of motivation to and Royce's run for the third goal. Sick goal in it. Oh, yeah. Germany got a lot of talent, like, but I just I think Holland were better on the day. They got a great bench. Yeah, and, and even the the Depay oh, goal was brilliant. Oh. Holland not good, you know. And people were kind of trying to come at the Van Dijk that it wasn't good defending. He showed him in. 
I don't think it was that bad. They didn't go past him. And he yeah, scored that's a, a great strike. That's a great strike. Out. People are like, oh, Van Dijk, it's not my defence. I'm like, mm, whatever, man. Touching at straws, lads. Cos you saw when Naby went one-on-one with Van Dijk. I was saying before, cos it was like watching the senior team versus the under-12s. It was embarrassing. Van Dijk is the best defender in the world. Centre-back, by yeah. far. But fair play to Germany. Uh, a great goal by Naby. I like how it was two young sides. Obviously, I mean, Babel's come back to life, as is the pie. Babel definitely staying young. Uh, forever young. young. I want to be, be forever young. Yeah. I uh. just want to live forever. So they've got a centre-back pairing for five years. <laughs> De Jong is really good in the middle of the park. Yeah. Wijnaldum. I think they have a great he squad. He is a baller. But it's, it's still boring. good to see that they are keeping up. You know? Yeah, that's true. What does that Barca keeper have to do to get in the side? Because I know he's just not the same man he used to be. He's not the same man. But anyway. I, I can't lie. I caught the last 20 minutes of this game. I was oh, you watch the whole thing, you watch the whole thing you would like to it. Yeah, no, I think I would have because I, I liked game. what I was seeing. I was I watched that Us movie, but yeah, Germany, man. Uh, I think uh, Holland will go far. That's for sure. A uh, good game, good game, exciting game, good game. Uh, yeah, let us know. Netherlands, uh, they're really, really well, uh, but <laughs> Germany did did end up uh, 90th minute winners. Uh, did they deserve it? But yeah, let us know what you guys reckon. England against Czech Republic. That was Jesus. sick. 5-0 for England. Sterling hat-trick over Czech Republic. Is there any English player in the better form of Raheem? Yo, Sancho and Hudson are England's new Ribery Robin. I like Ooh. that. The English team looks really great. They have huge potential. They all play for each other. They sort of get along and no big egos. Which on the long run. They remind me of Spain when they get together. They leave the club rivalry and focus on the national team. Something the golden generation failed to do. I agree. Look what Derek Gary Lineker said. Really? We might have to get used to England being decent. Yeah. And what's more, they're going to get better. So many wonderful, talented players coming through. Yeah. Never thought I'd say this, but I reckon England will win something. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't go that far mm. because that French side ain't too old. And uh, but, they I look mean, a little bit more united than our England side. On their day, and though. they're cooler. But on their day, England. What, Harry Maguire? I, I, loved, it. I just loved Henderson. how oh. the wingers were getting involved. We were getting in behind the checks. It felt good. Like the England were... Just going for it with young talent, bro. For me, there is some exceptional talent in England. Exceptional. Like, exceptional Hudson is Adoy. exceptional. Sancho, yeah. Sterling, yeah. Harry Kane is world class. Yeah, that Deli Ali. You're talking about top. Barkley Even Chilwell. Had a good game. Like, England's bench didn't look that good. Mm. Apart from Hudson, Hudson Adoy coming off. And on top of that, if they play someone like France and you need someone to run the middle of the park, mm. Pogba versus Henderson. Deli Ali's there, but beside him he's got Eric Dyer and Henderson. It's just like, mm. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Who is the young, exciting centre midfielder in England? Where is he? If Trent can play there, put him there. I want to see a young, exciting centre midfielder orchestrate the game. Yeah, you're right in that department. Mm. But the next Euros is going to be a good Euros. Oh. Rejuvenated sides. Very. Young talent. Yep. It's going to be a good Euros. And, and it's all over it. Europe as well. It's mad, isn't it? The, mm. fi- the semi-finals are at Wembley. Wembley and the final. And the final. Is that the Wembley? That's what I mean, bruv. England have a lot to and look forward to. Because we're over it. Mm. England have a lot to look forward to. What do you guys reckon, though? England. Can they actually win something? Uh, on, Sterling in the, in the form of his life. England, it's actually a break was a good year. Yeah. But I am looking forward to, to the Premier. I have to say, you know, talking of England, Spurs' new stadium, I went. <sighs> Incredible. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Spurs, my second team. Look at this ground. This is mad. It's crazy. What do you what do you feel like? Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's worth the wait. Yeah, this is yeah, amazing. Three one to the Les. New stadium. Yeah, they could talk. No, they talk. No. I heard it's really nice. Honestly, very. I was. I, I've been to many stadiums in my life. I was impressed by. I like the Marseille stadium. That was nice. I like the uh, Zenit Saint Petersburg stadium. Like, yeah. This really impressed me. Like walking in, I was like, this is top five of what I've seen. So how can you have a top five stadium with no trophies? It doesn't matter, fam. The last time you lot won something was 07. Before that, it was so 01. Good, man. I don't care about what you got. Your stadium could be the best stadium in the world. It's so good. No matter what, Harry Winks is centre midfield for you lot. I'm not interested, fam. Go get a trophy. Go buy a trophy, big man. Go buy a Saturn. Yeah, but right. Trophy. North London rivalries aside, the stadium is, on, is amazing. Because the, I the heard steepness. you in the Emory interview. I, I know yeah. you're a Spurs fan now. I'm just not interested, my bro. I'm not a Spurs fan. You are. I admire them. From the top, it looks like a toilet. And inside, there's nothing. They've, 
It's so bad, they've now going to make beer inside there. Because what are you, a brewery or <laughs> a club, are. fam? You're yeah. making beer in your ground. Why don't you make a side that can win something, cuz? Yeah, get me! <laughs> <laughs> they are a mini brewery. Uh, they have a sky bar, compact, but big. I, I've done really well. I'm not interested because in FIFA, they moved in a new stadium in August. It's March now. The man turned up at the end of the exam asking for two hours extra. This is an alpha. Bro, you man, no matter what you say, I want you to lose your opening game. We're one point away from you. I just want to be above you lot. If that happens, that would be quite embarrassing. It would be embarrassing. In fact, come on, Arsenal. Let's finish above them at a time when they got a new stadium. I don't want you to celebrate nothing. I like Pochettino. Leave Poch. Go somewhere where you'll be appreciated and you'll be given money so you can Are you a little bit jealous of the new ground? Damn right I am. Have you not seen it? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> How dare they have that? It's the best stadium in London. And that hurts me. But go in, Sutton. Come on, Tottenham, my second team. Uh, maybe third. <laughs> Fourth. I think so, because you've got Red Star. Partizan. Partizan. Yeah, Liverpool. Liverpool. Man City. No, but I feel like you support Bernardo more than... I support Bernardo Silva. I support Tottenham Stadium. <laughs> 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 I've realised. That's lit. So when they're away from home, you're not interested. No. I love that. Fam, I can't lie. Tottenham, your stadium's banging. <laughs> <laughs> Poet on his trolling shit today. Banging. Yeah, Tottenham fans, how do you feel? Uh, are you fearing... That, that you might not finish in the top four. And could you do Man City now with this atmosphere in that ground? Can you now wow. pull up a shock? Because that'll be their first Champions League game, in there. That's going to be sellout. And it's going to be buzzing. Spurs fans, your stadium's lit. But Man City don't care about your new stadium. They didn't care about Swansea's comeback. They didn't care about Kepa. They don't care about nothing. Nothing. Them man just want to win. They don't care about Liverpool. <laughs> <They're American. laughs> <But no. laughs> All they care about is we have to beat Liverpool. Even for the area, I think it's good for the area, for the community. Very good. For the community. It's good for the community. My brother! I saw a couple of articles talking about the community. And I is saw a couple it? of comparisons online. I think it was quite unfair. Go on. People were like, ah, oh, the cheapest season ticket is £795. And they were comparing it to Germany and France. And, but then I was like, why are you comparing it to there? If you compare it to any other Premier League club, it's the same thing. Anyway, Scotland. It's the Scottish. Braveheart. Glasgow. and Brew. They beat San Marino. No! Come on, Charlie. Well done. Laura, how do you feel? Finally, won a game. They won a My game. Won a game. Russell. McLean and Russell. I'm Scottish myself. Our youth programme is completely <laughs> wrong. And our philosophy is so outdated. This is why our national team has been a fail for so long. If Scotland is going to improve, it needs to promote that youth and let them play with natural flair and teach them the correct way to play instead of punt and chase. That was a bit of Scottish going into some sort of northern madness. Yeah. Robertson should have travelled. Jose Burns broke his collarbone in Thursday practice for the Dutch uh, TT in February. Had a hit and blast on Friday in a race on Sunday, finishing fifth. Also, Mark Marcus won the 2014 Qatar GP with a broken leg. Jeffrey Hurlings won the Indonesia MGP uh, last year with a broken collarbone. Mm. And abscess for Robertson, travel. I agree. I mean, I don't because you've given me about five examples which are incredible but I can give you about 100 examples in football of injuries and people have come back on the field and it's got a lot worse so um, I respect you Alex but I feel everything you're saying is very selfish but you want Robertson to play for your own selfish but reasons doesn't we say you, you don't play. give a damn no I said that if my man's I remember I put on my phone I watched the episode back I took out my phone yeah. and he needs to have a rest give him a rest big man you want him to play because you want Scotland to win. Robinson. Big man, you beat San Marino 2 0. It's San Marino. <laughs> yeah, but he wanted to play. Do you know how people in San Marino? 20. 11 of them play for the team, and the other nine are out there working at the stadium. Just let. <laughs> if Robertson <laughs> don't want to go, let him eat one haggis and just chill out. I'm like, you don't need to. San Marino. They should let San Marino play in the Welsh League. Exactly. With TNS and them, man. Exactly. Just let them go. Bill him up. Yeah. Come on. France beat Moldova. 4 1. Mm. You see Griezmann's goal? <coughs> it was banging. Banging. A banging ball by um, Pogba. By Pogba. Shout out to Moldova. Uh, who would win in a game? Assuming players are cloned. I think you need to. France versus Man City. Who would win that? I'm going for Man City. Yeah? Because France can only pick the best players from France. Man City can actually sign whoever they want in the world. Do you yes, reckon we'll ever live to see San Marino become good? Uh, probably not, mate. Doubt it, unless yeah, someone invests in them. International clubs should be allowed to sign players. That was a good if game, you though. To, if you were born there. So, yeah. like, Jamaica should be able to loan 
Raheem Sterling. Love the game between Republic of Ireland and them. Um, the 1-0 game? Yeah. I didn't get to watch it. Was it good? I mean, no, not great. But oh. they had a chance, Gibraltar. There was an easy jet plane taking off in the no background. No way. No, there was, yeah. There was an airport. You an airport. see planes taking off. You see it's their number, Boeing 737. Interest. I was saying to you before, the old Arsenal stadium. You can see the guy doing that. Like, it's on the... In mud like that. It's I mad. That. Love it. Love it. But Gibraltar, unlucky, man. Had like one head over the keeper, saved it. But Ireland, obviously, they had a better quality side. There was more Irish fans than Gibraltar fans. Yeah, but you know the Irish fans. I love them. You yeah. see how they... Numbers. Whether it's going Vegas to watch a man fight. Why are Gibraltar good? Why, why are they good? Like, why are they good? Obviously, they're not great, but compared to like San Marino and like, all these places, so they are actually keeping up with a lot of these teams, which I think is very, very impressive. That's mad. They only lost one nil. They won a couple teams. Won, yeah, yeah, and they've won a couple games as well already. But so. on a mad thing though, when when Jib Jib came out here, because I didn't really know about them, yeah. but when they came out here, a couple of men were like, "Yeah, I'm from Jib," you know? I was like, what? Yeah. You? We and have people that watch us from everywhere. Yeah, like I want to know. Obviously, international break. Where you guys are from? We used to do this before, but I just want to, yeah, just leave your, leave your country where you're from. That tees us up, tees us up very nicely into the next one, though. South Africa. Les Sutu. Look at that, Paul. Kaleen Naido, shout out from South Africa. Part and Vuj every Monday and Friday. That's the dream team right there. Haha, the South African who loves your show. I have to say, you guys are pronouncing Lesotho terribly wrong. It's pronounced like Les Sutu. Love you guys. Have a nice. La Homla Lahena also talks about South Africa. Did Les Sutu qualify? No. Ah, oh, no. motherfucker. Did South Africa qualify? Yes. The African Cup of Nations. Is this summer in it? There's 50 14. Madagascar in it. Mauritiana. Shout Great out to, film. Shout out to Guinea Bissau, Namibia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, Tanzania. Yeah, looks good. There's some good stories in here, you know. What North African teams are there? Egypt, yeah. Morocco, Tunisia. Morocco, I think, will have a very, very good chance. Algeria. I love the African Cup of Nations. Bruv. When it comes on watching African players, you would discover new players. Also, a shout out to some Tunisian players that chose the wrong nation. Ben Arthur, disappointed. Ben Yedder, disappointed. And one player I couldn't believe, Sami Khedira, Tunisian descent, chose to play for the other side. I just think if we want an African Nations Cup to be lit, just play for them, man. Also, other country love too. North Macedonia looks like they can. That's mad. Like Macedonia changed their name. Ion Tanevski, North Macedonia looks like oh, they can make the Euros. Oh, also country love too. The football wow. is too close. I have a young that is also in the playoffs from League D. Let's get it. And the Kosovan brothers, Busha Asilani, two-two against Denmark doing their bits. And obviously they're playing. Serious? Yeah, 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 Kosovan brothers are doing bits still. Probably a lot because of Vuj, but I do have love for the Balkans. My children's uncle, mm. and he loves, loves Jovic. Jovic. He loves him. Yeah. He loves him. Because the younger demographic really watch football. Mm. Like the 14, he's 14, 15. Proper watches ball. And yeah, he yeah. loves my mates. I just ball. hope Jovic can actually, you know, ball. Like when he, if he, mo- when he moves this summer, which I think he will, yeah. can Jovic step up? Because I haven't seen a, a bulk, and I said, talking about bulk and strikers, they had, there's not, that. That, that step up is never great. But yeah, a lot of them, like in the, when there's less pressure, they can when produce. It, when the stage isn't so big, they're great. And then when it comes to a bigger stage, they just can't keep up. I That's think. how I feel about Memphis Depay. <laughs> a lot of Balkan people in general, right? Mm. We're very laid back. So we're hard working. Yeah. But we do what we need. Yeah. And, like, to, we don't, yeah. Like, and then when we have what we need, we're just like, Man, I don't really need to do this thing. Remember Pantelich and Neman? Neman was smoking cigarettes at the 2006 World Cup. No, they weren't. Yeah, you can see there's photos of them in the balcony. Legend. I'm not smoking at the World Cup. Yeah, but do you know but that what? level of self-discipline, come on, bro. But you try, you, you, I hear you. You're at the World Cup, fam, for your country. Mm-hmm. Parents will never let you know this, but I'm going to get you. Go to Google. We can all do it at the same time. Go to Google and type in footballers smoking cigarettes. That's better. Yeah. There's a bag of them. Look at Berbatov. Yeah, but Berber, yeah, Bulgarian. Come on. Right there. Look, he looks cold. Man. Look, I'm sorry. Hey, Berber looks cold. You think I care that he smokes cigarettes? Look at him. He looks cool. He looks like a Bulgarian James Bond. Smoke your thing, dog. Love it. Yeah, shout out to the uh, Bulgarian man still. Run down in the games, though. Bear Couple. Thing. There's been bare games. Spain, mm. cheeky little um, Panenka from Ramos for, to win it for Spain. That's his eighth. Is that the eighth one? He's a there? bastard. Shout out to Israel. Mm. 4-2 against Austria. Looking really, really good. Pini Zahavi doing bits. Also, Hungary beating Croatia. This was... That's mad. Croatia like, they looking They really poor. went in the World Cup final. yeah. yeah. Pretty is sure. that the Balkan mentality that yes, you're saying? Yes, 100%. Okay. They had a bit of luck in Russia. It worked out for them. But they're good. They're, they're a good, good side. side. They barely beat Azerbaijan at home. And now they, they, they struggled against Hungary. Hungary were kind of all over them. But maybe hangover. Hangover, true. And then you have to also look at um, 
Boji had a good game. Russia had a good game. Poland 2-0. Uh, I think another story that stood out for me was, yeah, Northern Ireland, obviously, uh, of the British sides, they scored a last-minute winner. Uh, so, not last-minute. Limbs? Last, a couple of last-minutes. Oh, it was all right. It was against Belarus, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Greece against Bosnia when that happens. There's a couple. Tell me about that. Yeah, Ellie was talking to us about that. Let us know, obviously, international break. Let us know which country you're from. Yeah, Serbia, Portugal, England, Montenegro tonight. A few other games as well. I'll leave your comments below. Obviously, let us know where you're from as well. If you're going to any of these games, and send us a photo. England, why not? England, Montenegro. Away from home. Away. Yeah, but England will. England will win. Yeah. Who score who? Serbia. We could win. We could lose. With Serbia, I don't know. I'm watching that game only for Jovic. I need to start watching. I like I like footballers now. Yeah, it's tonight, isn't it? I support footballers now more. It's mad. Like yeah, I'll watch a game for a particular club. Yeah, yeah, same. It's crazy. But yeah, shout out to Juve for filling their stadium. Thirty-nine thousand for Juventus women what? against Fiorentina ladies. <laughs> Shout out Leanne Sanderson, I know you play over there, former Arsenal girl. Yeah, the ladies football is, is becoming more and more popular, which is good to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, Arsenal women beating Liverpool in 5-1. Beth Mead scoring twice as Arsenal moved on top of the Women's Super League of a resounding victory at Liverpool. Blood, look at that first, what a guy. That is incredible. That's still what a guy. What a guy to Henry Gallego for making his professional debut in August. At first... <laughs> you mean I sat on the bench for 31 years and everyone was like, you're never going to play. You watch, you see. Henry Gallego made his professional debut at 31, nearly 32, and is now playing in La Liga for Huesca. I'm going to buy him on FIFA tonight. There is no rules. <laughs> That's incredible. None. And I'm going to train him, and I'm going to make sure that his career, in my life, <laughs> is great, because he deserves it. That is called patience. Fam, that's got more patience than any doctor I know. It's funny. Fam, when Poet said this was the last week of what a guy, the man's had a minor heart attack. Oh. Because before it was over. We're um, here, gang. Shout out to Percy Tau for scoring two bangers for South Africa. <laughs> and missing a sitter from six <laughs> yards and sending them to their first African Cup nation since 2015. Big up our South Africans. Oh yeah, also, South African music is lit. Like oh South my God, do you know who's there now? South African house music. Um, what a guy to Raul Ruidas for my hometown team, Seattle Sounders, for an eight-game scoring streak. Go on. Um, what a guy to FC Cincinnati win their MLS home debut 3-0 in front of a sellout crowd of 32,000. The whole experience was scenes, smoke, banner celebrations, and great banners. Good signs from Cincinnati. Shout out to Cincinnati. We give it to, uh, to the man that gave his debut at 32 years old. You know, Point to the camera incredible. and say, what a guy. Keep leaving your what a guy's hashtag what a guy. Uh, this week on social media, free sellers of illegal streams have been jailed for a total of 17 years for defrauding the Premier League. What? Peak. A man says, what are you in for, mate? Double homicide, rape, torture. How about you? I was providing a 1080p link for Southampton against Brighton. I can laugh, because that is funny. But in the same breath, the Copper fam, you man are lit. You have to know, wherever you are, this is a mad injustice. If you know what some people are doing in London and they're out in six months, think about it, Adam Johnson's on the road right now. And these men are getting 17 years mm. for 1080p. Mm. Nah, cuz. They might have all sent me a stream. Nah, this made me cry from. Blood, I cried, yeah. I cried. But when so, you watch this, and if you don't cry, then I have questions about you. That level of happiness. I was is... there like. <laughs> I was like, me when I was a kid. I love kids, I'm just so happy. Idris Elba teaching you British slang, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> It's so easy, you're right, to get, it's just, that was just horrible. <laughs> this is funny. Fly how you identify. Our new non-binary gender options are now available. Matt Walsh, okay, then identify as first class. <laughs> it's funny. Right but anyway, look, you lot, thank you very much for watching the show. I once again didn't know what day it was. Uh, I think the international break confuses me, but Tottenham Stadium's amazing. Keep leaving your comments about everything else. And I'm glad the Prem is back next week. April 1st, Arsenal could be third. The games this weekend are crazy. Liverpool got Spurs at Canfield. Chelsea got Hud-Hud. That's an easy win for them. United got Watford at home. Might be tricky. Mm. But then we've got Newcastle, 8pm, Monday night, under the best floodlights in the whole of North London. <laughs> and then Man United got Wolves the next day away from home. Mm. The Spurs Stadium, it reminded me of something out of like Game of Thrones. Like even the floodlights, they just looked like they could switch in any direction. I was like, this is... The nice. best stadium in the Premier League. And Arsenal Stadium is... Oh. Why are Tottenham getting better every year? Guys, thank you for watching. I apologise for my sneezing. I believe I may have caught a little bit of a cold or a bit of an allergy. Uh, but Friday, we're back. A bit more international football to go through. And then the Prem and the madness. The Champions League is going to be back very soon. We have a lot of football coming up. Obviously, the Ladies' World Cup. And then next year is Euro 2020. 
And do you know what? I'm so glad I've got an appreciation for football again, like real, real appreciation, because I didn't really miss the Premier League this weekend. I have to be mad honest with you. I know I what you mean. Sweden, and no, I, I watched I was all the international football. football. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. And I've come here with the same trainers Vujie's wearing in my bag and the same tracksuit bottoms. And lit. Lit. Yeah, Guys, so lit. thank you for watching, and we will see you on Friday. My guy. Enjoy.